Hi there everybody and welcome to your latest Newcastle United news right here on the Toon Review YouTube channel. My name is Paul, thank you so much for tuning in again. A uh, lot to get through today, uh, we're interested in a centre-back apparently, uh, news on Bruno and Isak, a possible director of football and a former captain of Newcastle United linked with Burnley. Uh, but as usual guys, if you do enjoy today's video, please do give it the thumbs up and of course if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, why not subscribe? It is free to do so, come and join this wonderful community on the Toon Review. Uh, we will start off with the centre-back that has been linked this morning in the press and that is Usman Diamande. Uh, now he plays in Sporting, uh, but they are expected to sell him in the summer. They have announced that they will be selling one of their big stars this summer. Now it doesn't state whether they're in under financial pressure or anything like that to uh, to sell a big name. However, Diamande is the player that they have mentioned as to possibly exiting the club. Now at the moment, his contract does have an 80 million euro release clause. And everybody will be looking at that thinking, well, there's no way that Newcastle United are going to pay 80 million euros uh, to get this guy out of Sporting. However, Sporting are that desperate or seem that desperate to sell him. They are willing to take 60 million euros for the player. Now, this might just interest Newcastle. It might just tip that interest a little bit further. And I think it will. Uh, let's be honest. We are looking for a big name or a big marquee centre-back. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. There is a couple of positions at Newcastle that uh, are being certainly looked at. And, and centre-back is one of them, of course. Botman out until Christmas. Lloyd Kelly possibly coming in on a free. Tosin, it seems like that's not going to happen anymore. Uh, or at least if you read what you on social media, that certainly isn't happening anymore. However, however, this guy is a hell of a player. Uh, a real talent and well worth 60 million euros if that's what Sporting are in fact wanting for the player. Now, guess which other English club is interested in him? That's right, Chelsea. Every time we are linked with a player, Chelsea's name seems to be there and, and trying to uh, scupper everything for Newcastle United with signings. Now, if they're getting Torsen, how on earth are they going to bring uh, Diamandi in as well? That would be about 10 centre-backs they've got in that squad, and that would be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it's like Torsen going to Chelsea. You know, are you going to get the regular football there that you think you're going to get? Because I don't think you are. But, you know, let's just see where he ends up. But Diamande, Juventus are also interested in the player. Um, he could, uh, the Italian side, could persuade him maybe to go to Serie A. Uh, there's no bids come in for the player as yet from any club. But Newcastle United are reportedly one of the front runners to bring him in. Uh, this news just came out this morning, so I, I don't know... Again, this is media speculation. There's nothing about the player himself or no club has spoken about him moving to Newcastle. This is just media speculation as it always is. However, it's very nice to be able to report on these kind of players. I tell you, rather than a few year back when we were shopping in bargain basement clubs, I'm telling you, this is completely different. Uh, and it's just so nice to be linked to real top quality stars. And Diamande, um, he is definitely one of them. Uh, and uh, I would love him to come to Newcastle. I think he'd be an awesome sign, and I really do. Um, now, I did mention in the intro there, just quickly touching on this, of course, Vincent Company has left Burnley, and they have a managerial vacancy, uh, of course, relegated from the Premier League uh, this season back in the Championship. Now, our former captain, Scott Parker, is been heavily linked with the job. Uh, so if he does get that job, all the best to you, Scott, and hopefully... Uh, you can uh, maybe bring Burnley back to the Premier League. Um, I, you know, I've got nothing against Scott Park. I think he did a brilliant job for us when he was here. Uh, a very good footballer in his day. And uh, he's now looking to expand into management and possibly uh, the Burnley job. He is the front runner apparently at the minute. So good luck to Scott Parker. Uh, now, Bruno. A lot of speculation is going on about Bruno every single goddamn day. You look on various news articles or social media and they've got different clubs linked with Bruno. Now, we know the three main clubs that are interested in him. Uh, there's Manchester City, there's Paris Saint-Germain and Arsenal. Now, for me, Arsenal, I don't know where they're going to get 100 million quid from to, uh, to get the release clause. Man City, we know, yes. And certainly Paris Saint-Germain, yes. They've got the money. Uh, I'm not sure what Arsenal have. However, uh, Newcastle United have told Bruno's representatives that they will not be selling, actively selling him uh, this summer. They do not want him to leave the football club. Uh, now, of course, the release clause that he has is only valid until June the 30th. So it's going to be a horrible month for Newcastle United fans. 
There's no doubt about that. We will be all shitting a brick throughout the month of June, waiting for that news that Bruno's um, release clause has been activated. Now, that also, you know, it doesn't mean that Bruno himself is is going to leave the club. He may decide that whoever activates that release clause, he's not interested in going. So I'm, I'm not really too fussed about that. But the fact of the matter is, if a big boy comes calling like a Real Madrid, that's when I'll start to panic a little bit. Or a Manchester City. Uh, because let's face it, Man City, um, you know, they do have the pulling power. Pep, for one. Uh, trophies, for another. Um, but I, I'd, I'd, I would hate it if he went to another Premier League team. I would. I could. I don't think I could handle that. I don't think many Newcastle fans could um, see him in uh, in a different uniform in the Premier League. Um, now Newcastle United have also said they'll will do everything in their power to keep Bruno at Newcastle United. So there is going to be a real battle, and I think even if that. Uh, release clause is met Newcastle will go to Bruno and they will fight tooth and nail to keep him at the football club and I'm delighted Newcastle United have come out and said this that they will do fight tooth and nail to keep their best player and why of course you would even though there's a release clause there but I tell you now uh, the, the month of June is going to be real twitchy ass time for us Newcastle United fans everybody's ass will be going like a rabbit's nose until that release clause goes um, and you just know, you just know that there's going to be crappy speculation all through the month. There's going to be a lot of bollocks on social media all the way through the month about Bruno. Um, so let's just, you know, take a step back and just wait till any sort of announcement comes from a fo- from one of the clubs interested in Bruno or Newcastle United themselves that the release clause has been met. It's then up to Bruno to decide what he wants to do. Um, but it's definitely squeaky bum time, no doubt about it, until that release clause disappears on June the 30th. Um, now, the same thing uh, regarding uh, Alexander Isak. Uh, Newcastle United are apparently working very swiftly uh, to give him a new deal at Newcastle United. Now, whatever this deal may be at Newcastle United, it's going to be worth an awful lot of money. Because, uh, as we know, they are valuing Isak at up to, or at least, 171 million quid. I don't know where the ones come from, but who gives a shit? Um, That is apparently going to be too much for Arsenal. Uh, Again, you know, we were talking about Arsenal in the Bruno situation, about spending 100 million. Uh, But Isak's going to cost 170, at least. So, I don't think there's any chance of Arsenal um, actually getting him. Um, Look, we know that Newcastle, I mean... Listen, if you, if you believe reports from the Newcastle United um, press side of things, they've said on numerous occasions in the last few weeks that Newcastle United are actively trying to work a new deal out with Alexander Isak. This all started from the last game of the season, of course, uh, when he was seen talking to the chairman on the pitch. And we know he had a chat with him uh, after the game as well on a one-to-one basis. So... Let's just hope to God that something is sorted out very soon and we get an announcement from Newcastle United that Alexander Isak has signed a a new long-term deal. Now, Newcastle are very confident of doing this. However, they are also very wary of any bids coming in for Isak uh, that they really find hard to turn down. I would imagine, obviously, the bids that would be hard to turn down are anything over what we've stated there on the £170 million mark. Uh, now, people will also say, well, if we sell him for 200 million, think of the, you know, the money we'd have available to bring in a couple of superstars with that kind of money. So I don't want Isak going anywhere because I think he's going to be a big part of our rise uh, to winning a trophy. I really do. Uh, so I don't want him going anywhere. Uh, but again, it's all about squeaky bum time this summer, guys. And, you know, Isak is one of those players that obviously he's going to attract interest because he's a quality footballer. And this is what you get when you have quality footballers in your side. But Newcastle United are not that selling club anymore. People just can't come up to our club and go, oh, we'll pick, we'll pick him, we'll pick him. That doesn't work like that anymore. You know, if you're going to get a player out of Newcastle United, you've got to offer them right money. Or anybody out of Newcastle United, as we've seen with Ashworth. They're not going to, the owners aren't going to bend over and say, oh, well, yeah, just take our best players. That's not who we are anymore. And I think the, the quicker that these clubs realise that, the better. Um, now, finally, are we going to finally get a director of football? We know that Dougie Friedman turned down the job. Uh, that was a massive blow to the hierarchy at Newcastle United because, uh, you know, they'd made him an offer. They were pretty sure he's going to take that offer. Um, but then he decided to stay at Crystal Palace. And, um, you know, 
fair dues. You know, he wants to work on the project at Christmas, uh, Christmas Palace, Crystal Palace, um, and that's fair enough. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but obviously, Newcastle United have had to turn their attention elsewhere. Now, the the latest name to be uh, be linked is uh, Johannes Spores. Now, this guy uh, has apparently, I'm just reading it now in front of me, uh, he's currently working with 777 uh, Partners, who, of course, they were looking to buy Everton, but that's all up in the air now. Um, but he works for them, um, and it's apparent that he's, hold, he's held talks, and they've been described as very positive, and they're still ongoing. Uh, but it is also in the same report that may be that Newcastle United will announce a director of football very soon. And if it is Spurs, then fair enough. I think we need a one in and we need one who's going to be very, very good at the job. Obviously, we'll have a look at him because we, we do do uh, various shows on the potential sporting director. So no doubt we'll do one on uh, Johannes Spores, uh, see what he brings to the table. And quite honestly, if it's going to be him, then let's get it done. Let's get a director of football in because I think we need one for when the transfer window opens. We need one in the build up to the transfer window. Uh, so that's one to keep an eye on, guys. Very exciting. Uh, he is very, very qualified, if you ask me. Um, and Newcastle United, as we know, will only look for the very best. Uh, and Spores could be the man uh, to take that job. So there you go. That is the latest news for today, guys. Uh, as I said at the beginning, if you have enjoyed it, please do give it the thumbs up. Very, very important. We keep, the, uh, keep up there on the YouTube search results. And of course, if you're new and you like what you see, Please do subscribe. It is free to do so. Come and join this wonderful community on the Toon Review. Uh, but don't forget to hit that um, uh, notification bell, which will let you know when we upload any videos such as this or we schedule our live shows. If you're watching this on Tuesday, we have a live show tonight, 7 o'clock. Uh, will Newcastle United join the fire sale? Uh, we're going to have a look at the relegated teams, certainly the likes of um, uh, Leeds as well, who failed in the playoff final. Are we able to get a few players from there who would be very good additions to the squad because Leeds will have to sell some players in the summer. Uh, but we'll see you then, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Take care.